Hi guys, um, happy NaNoWriMo. We're almost, we're over halfway done now. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm only at 16,000 words, but I'm catching up here. And one of the reasons I am so slow is because I have a huge amount of words already. Because as you guys know, or may not know, some of your new followers, that um, this is like my third uh, NaNoWriMo but if you count in the camps, this is my sixth one. And five of those I did work on my original um, work in progress from two th Nano 2012. And my working title is Merry Christmas. That's my character's name. My daughter made this little cover for me. And she likes the title Christmas Witch. But, and again, I don't know what my title will actually be. This is just, you know, for fun to have something up for Nano. And it is day 18 and I just wanted to show you my writing process really quickly and uh, I'm in Scrivener and then I have my little pictures for inspiration and um, I write in a netbook so it has to think a lot like it's there's a little bit of lag so I have to be careful that I don't move around too much in a Scrivener but here's how I do it I, if you, well, let me start up here. Here's the um, manuscript uh, page. So that's everything that when you go to compile and print, it'll be included in this. And if you just see that it's slightly offset here, that means I don't uh, keep things in there. I just put things in there when I want to print. And so that's a tip for you. And then everything here is offset. Like it won't um, be included in, um, word count or anything and I just keep it separate because I don't know what I'm gonna put here and these are some of my um, oops too fast but it's just some of my titles I don't really want to some of my my chapter titles but I don't really want to show them but uh, <laughs> what I do is I this is my daily writing process I put the year in a folder and then I sort of as the as it goes along I put the month if it's an if it's um if it's a nano I will mark that in there and um, my netbook is thinking but it is gonna open this eventually and like I said I write in a netbook because it's light and very portable and like I said I should probably upgrade to a better computer to run Scrivener faster but right now I just go for the small you know I can it's easily portable so like if this was this was April Camp NaNoWriMo and then it gives you your word count over here. You guys know how to do that. And um, sometimes I'll just do the day, you know, the day, and then it gives me my word count for the day. And you can see some days are hardly anything at all, and some days are like a 10K Tuesday or something. And um, I just write every day. Like here's November. And you can see my word count is 14,000, but I have some words in another file, which I'll show you. Um, so m mostly what I do, and see, mine's not very good this time because I'm, I'm, I had so many words. Let me see if I could pull up my word count um, for 2014. It takes just a minute on here, but um, I'm kind of slowing down because I have so many words already that I need to deal with and um, I'll show you in just a minute it's thinking but I have close to a half a million words um, from 2014 2013 and then just at the end of 2012 when I did my first NaNoWriMo which is where I started this work in progress and um, just the working title Merry Christmas and just a general idea of it is that it's an origin story uh, for Mrs. Claus. So just a YA, um, part paranormal, part fantasy. Probably more fantasy now because I've changed a lot of elements of it in just her story. And so, let's see. Okay, so you can see from the months here, cause, because we have all the months in the folder, so you could see how much I wrote, how I write every month, and how much I write, like an average of 15,000 words a month if it's not um, a NaNoWriMo, and I always have like a bonus month after NaNoWriMo where my momentum just carries forward, 
except for in July. July was kind of not that good. Always in camps, I, so I kind of tend to, to lower my word count, especially in the summer. But here, you could say I did a lot of words. And um, let me just go up here. There's the big file. Okay, so you see here's 300,000 words. Oh my gosh. So that is all, almost all. It's not, it's like not in a manuscript form. It's in these daily writings. So that's what I wanted to show you. The, my writing process is I write, like I said, I write every day. Sorry, I'm having trouble seeing, but it, I write every day. And um, and these little, I don't know what they're called, pages, notes, you know, these little files, in an uh, individual files, not a folder. And so I just write, and I'm not particular. You know, it's very up and down. It depends on the week. It depends on the day. I don't write the same amount every day, but it's enough. It adds up to, I said, like I said, about average of 15,000 a month. And then in NaNoWriMo, of course, I'm going for more. And like I said, this month I've really slowed down because like I, I have, it's November. Stop it, Mr. T. Sorry, my dog is like, I don't know what he was doing, but uh, he's making noises. Don't do that, okay? Thank you. But uh, and so November, um, I've slowed down. But anyway, I just want to show you that, like how I write every day. Like it's not that many words. Some days it is, and but most of the time it's not. But I always open my file every day, so that's how I accumulated that many words. And sometimes I'm just free writing. Sometimes I write like, what if, and then I go and write a scene and then I'll think about it for a couple of days if I like that scene. And um, I also did that for 2013. It'll take a minute to open that. But 2012 is just my Nano 2012. And then 2013 I hadn't thought of, I used to do a file called Thinking, which you can see right up here. And then I have, this is Thinking from 2013 and this is Thinking from 2014. They're not really labeled right, but that's what I used to do but in 2013 I believe it was July then I came up with this sort of calendar method and that's my method for doing writing is I just have a calendar and I write every day and then I have a corresponding calendar on the wall that I can put stickers on if you follow the writer Victoria Schwab she always posts her stickers for the month and she gives herself a sticker for each um, I think she does every thousand words and I, I usually do that only now I've gotten into a habit of giving myself a sticker every time I write <laughs> go sit down no I don't want to play ball with you right now my dog is a stinker anyway so 2013 um, I started this in July so I had 165,000 words for 2013 I have my nano from 2012 and they sort of developed and changed and now I've pretty much got and let me just show you there was a camp nano and then a different than regular nano and I started this in July and before that I was just doing different things but what happened is I got to the point where I had all these words and I sort of had the, I was just free I wasn't committed to any particular story I, I like I had the through line and I just developed everything so that every day could be like a new fresh start where I'm not attached to any particular I'm not attached to any particular um, scene and so what I do you say well what do you do after that well I take the scenes out I do I either do like a what I've got so far I abbreviate it what I've got so far and I'm looking for it I think I just had it open and then I shut it but I can't find it oh here it is what I've got so far is when I take things out and put them uh, I, I, I used to call it dice but then I changed it to what I've got so far and I take it out of the month and go through it and put it um, 
if it was a particularly good month, I'll go through and take stuff out and look at it and put it, if it's something like a shiny new, I'll stick it in here, other ideas and works in progress and just save it for later. If it's, I used to separate it out um, into books one, two, and three. So here's some other titles I thought of. I thought of the first book being called Frost Smoke because that's a, a weather phenomenon in the Arctic. And then Winter Fire for the second and Silver Bells for the third. There's nothing in these. I just put them right here. And um, I have them separated out in my thinking. Like I have, like I, like I said, I go through the month and I separate it into book one, book two, book three, things that I probably will use. And then I have shiny news and other things I put in here. And um, let's see, up, and then more specifically, out of the what I've got so far, then I will take, um, and let me go up here. Where is it? This one. And um, I'll go, I'll take, right here is a, I've got, is it opening? There it is. I've got um, 100 scenes in here, which is like the length of a of a novel. And I've taken, and you see it's at 50,000 right now. Um, those are from 2014 scenes, I believe. And I was just trying a different way. Instead of um, putting them, I just put them in order. And then so right now I'm going through those scenes and I'm seeing which ones I like and a lot of them are old they're like because in April uh, NaNoWriMo a lot of things changed because before that it was you know it had a certain well, I can't say it but like it had a certain um, plot line and subplot lines you know the, the main plot lines always been the same but the subplots have changed a little bit and the characters have changed a little bit and um, I just yeah I don't know if I'll use any of these scenes I was just going through them like I don't know they don't really apply anymore I'm not gonna even gonna have this prologue anymore if you guys were in the writing group from the summer that's the prologue um, that I showed you guys um but yeah I don't even know if I'm gonna use any of these scenes and these chapter titles I don't even know if these will still apply where am I? There's November. Okay, so then I thought, a f sort of a few weeks ago, sit down, sit. I thought a few weeks ago of these chapter, t of these book titles. So if it's a three book series, and like I said, I have the words to go in here, but they're not the, they're not, mm, how can I say it? They don't take into account like every single plot line that's changed. So it will be pretty much new words in here, but I wanna fill it in with in general an outline maybe, or not even an outline because I have the scenes. I just wanna fill it in with the scenes, like sort of break the scenes down into just like the screenwriting method where you just say what happens and um, in, a, in without, a lot of detail and maybe do that like I'm not sure where to go from here because I want to take like I have a tons of words here and here and here and in my thinking files here and here um, yeah I, and so I want to put them in here and divide it into three books these are just like tentative titles they're very YA very very YA titles but I wanted to just put them in there so at least I could have it straight in my head and not like put them in there as they are. I want to break it down. Do you know what I mean? Like there's certain themes and things that are slightly different. Some of the characters are slightly different and the beginnings definitely different. And um, so the scenes are not right. So it's kind of a hard, this is getting long, but it's kind of, I want to wrap it up and say, Basically, that's what I want to do for the rest of NaNoWriMo because I think I've got enough words. I just need to straighten up my scenes. But anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Sorry it was really long. But uh, have a great NaNoWriMo. And I will see all your videos. I'm enjoying all of your videos. And um, 
I'll see you and talk to you later. Bye.